Let's play. K. Greetings, K. Lovies. At Walmart, I came across this egg set in the Easter aisle. It has three eggs, and I was inspired for this next DIY project. Let's open these eggs up. The first egg is this egg, and it was full of colorful, vibrant, happy erasers, all Easter themed, like this little carrot. And then we have like an Easter basket, two little duckies, and a frog. So cute. Also it came with this Easter egg, this butterfly, and this adorable little chick coming out of an egg. This second egg has three little jeweled bracelets. I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna put them on because I just think they're too cute for comfort. This third egg has a really cute surprise and I didn't even know it, but it's a little ring. It lights up! Blink, 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 blink. Then when I saw these packs of erasers, I had to grab them, these juicy little fruits, little strawberries, grapes, and peaches, and then these donuts and ice creams. Check out the sweetness. Let's open up these erasers and add them to the little stockpile. Grab the little juicy peach. And then let's open up these little desserts. Look at all these erasers, so adorable. For this project, you're gonna need some findings. I grabbed these at the craft section of Walmart. They have a loop on one side and a sharp point on the other. And then you'll need some needle nose pliers. And then you'll need some stretch lace. This is the kind that you make bracelets and some beads, because we're gonna be making some bracelets. Well, hello there, Lonnie. This is my cat. You also need scissors. Let's start with this little ducky eraser. You're gonna grab your little finding and cut it, and then you're gonna just insert it with your needle nose pliers, like so, very carefully, grabbing it towards the base and sticking it ever so slowly into the top of your eraser, or any kind of eraser at that. And just slowly stick it in, until you have a little tiny loop, which now we have transformed it to a charm. Then grab the elastic string and just kind of eyeball it to the length you would like to make your bracelet. Cut the string and then knot it at the tip so that the beads don't fall off. And then we're just gonna start grabbing beads. I'm gonna use a blue one for our ducky bracelet and string it on through. Then I will use the silver one because I'm going to make a pattern with blue and silver. One by one, we're just going to string this string up with beads, alternating blue to silver for mine. Whatever colors work for you might be different. Blue and silver, blue and silver, till we get the entire string beaded. Then when you get about halfway, we'll grab our little charm and just loop it on through the eyeball of that finding. See, now we have a little duck on a string. And then we'll just continue on with the bead pattern and we'll just keep on beading it up till we get the bracelet all the way finished. Then we'll knot it up and cut the tip of the string and ta-da, we have a bracelet. Repeating those simple steps, I decided I'm gonna go with this little frog, grab the finding, go ahead and stick it on ends very slowly through the base. I chose the bottom because I want him to kind of be dangling down. Stick it in till the tip of that eyeball is in all the way. And now we have our second charm. Get that string, decide on the length. Go ahead and grab your scissors. Snip, snip, snip. And make a knot towards the tip of the string. Now I'm just gonna start beating on that string. Starting with the pink and the green, pink and green, alternating to make a cute little pattern. Then when we get halfway, we're gonna grab that little charm grab that charm, find the eyeball of that finding, go ahead and stick the string in, and then continue on with the green and the pink, or what other colors you choose for your bracelet. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and knot it at the end, snip the string to your desired link, and ta-da! For this third bracelet, I chose to go with the Easter egg, repeating all of those steps and just randomly choosing beads to my liking. Since this is a creative project, there's no right or wrong way. Then, once you're done beading, just knot it up and cut the remaining piece of string and ta-da, you have a cute bracelet. Loving the bright colors I did on this pattern. Hi, Lonnie. Hi, Mama. What you doing? 
She just wants some loving. All right, for this last bracelet, I'm gonna go with this pink delicious donut, string it on this pink lace, and then I'll go ahead and just start beading away. I'm gonna go with the white pearl look so that you get this little pastel theme. Oh, she just left. Oh, she just came back. And then when we are done, we'll just knot it on up. And ta-da! Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.